My name is Dawn. Um, I'm a researcher in autism and neurodiversity. I'm also a multi-art practitioner. And um, I created Clement Space inspired by my dog, Lucy, um, who shows me how to be comfortable in any kind of situation. For this Light to Night Festival, the theme is Invisible Cities. And my sensory idiosyncrasy is an invisible thing, and I experience the city in, you know, in a less obvious way. So I was inspired also by the four sonnets. We're talking about the history of our city, and from an unspoken, less obvious viewpoint. And so this Clement space is a, a little haven tucked into one corner for people who have had enough of the you know, the, the rah-rah stuff and the bright lights and the crowds to just come in and rest for a little bit and experience sensory calm from my autistic point of view. So to touch the space and just, just to be in the space. The arts have always been in the forefront of new thought, creative thinking, innovation. And um, I, I believe it's a great movement now in Singapore where we're including artists from um, different walks of life and with different disabilities, abilities, coming to humanity from different perspectives. So diversity is very important. It's a great honour to be part of the Light Tonight Festival. I've always um, admired this festival. I like lights, you know, um, but I never like the crowds. So creating Clement Space in the National Gallery provides a, a new experience. Um, I don't think they've ever had a um, quiet room before. And also for people with sensory um, idiosyncrasies, you can come in and rest and then jump back into the activity so you can last longer <laughs> than you normally would. <laughs> <laughs>